George Washington purchased William Lee in 1768. We believe Billy was at least 16 years old at the time. Early records refer to him as Washington's huntsman, which means that he would have accompanied Washington on fox hunts and most likely helped manage his hounds. Through the writings of visitors and those who met him, we know that Billy was stout and athletic in build. Billy eventually became Washington's body servant. This position kept him by Washington's side throughout the day and responsible for a number of duties, including laying out clothes, helping Washington dress, serving meals as needed, delivering personal correspondence, as well as a variety of other tasks. Lee was with General Washington for the entire eight years of the Revolutionary War and continued as Washington's body servant throughout the Constitutional Convention. However, disability kept Billy from serving President Washington. At that time, Billy became the shoemaker for the other slaves at Mount Vernon. Revolutionary War veterans visiting Mount Vernon often stopped to talk with Billy. By all accounts, he enjoyed reminiscing about battles, encampments, and the camaraderie of army life. Billy was the only slave freed outright in George Washington's will. He received an annuity of $30 per year and remained living at Mount Vernon. Following his death, Billy was probably buried in the slave burial ground near the Washington family tomb. <laughs>